today we are going to try to evaluate this pretty monstrous looking integral. We have a double integral from 0 to 1, x to 1, and I think I'll be posting this around the Christmas time, so I have conveniently the Christmas date written right here, uh, but it's, it's some crazy polynomial x to the 12 y minus x to 25, 1 minus y to 20, 25, dy dx. And the way we are going to do this, it's going to be quite surprising, is going to essentially be a method where you can even do this in your head. Like you don't need to pull out any difficult anti-differentiation tricks. Um, once, you, once you know the trick, like you'll actually be able to see what this is um, without, without any heavy calculation. So I, I just want to illustrate that, but before doing so, uh, let's try a warm-up problem first. And this particular problem, which obviously is, looks a little easier, like it's integral from 0 to 1 and x to 12, 1 minus x to 20, 25, no y here. And this particular version I learned from reading a textbook, the authors are Blistin and Huang, and I'll post a reference for it down below. And they call this particular method Bayes Billiard. So I believe this is the famous um, statistician Bayes, and I think in the book they attribute the method to Bayes himself. So how this goes is as follows. Since we're talking about billiards, let's say we have like solid balls and striped balls. And uh, let's imagine for the moment, let's say we have a total, let's say we have a total of 2025 20, plus 12, so 2037 20, solid balls. And in addition to this, let's say we have one striped ball. I'm personally not very good at billiards, and certainly I'm not too familiar with the terminology, so maybe this is, this is incorrect, but hopefully you, you get what I mean. And now what we are going to imagine is, say we have a number line, and we only look at the numbers from 0 to 1, and we are going to, we are going to hit each one of these 20, 38 balls into this interval from 0 to 1, completely uniformly at random. So, uh, for example, something like this might happen, maybe this solid ball uh, gets stuck here, I, I don't know what this is, maybe 0 0.2, there's another ball here, there's another solid ball here. So, we're going to just randomly, we're going to randomly hit all of these, and there's going to be one striped ball, <laughs> wait, sorry, I'm not doing a best way of distinguishing between solid and stripes here, so let's say we randomly sent all of these solid balls something like this and maybe a striped ball maybe a striped ball went like somewhere here this is the striped one um a more mathematical way of saying this is you you might associate to these 2037 solid balls say random variable say like u1 all the way to u 2037 and each one of these are drawn uniformly so let's say iid uniformly at random from um uniform distribution with support to zero one this is just a fancy way of saying I'm just randomly picking uniformly at random a number between 0 and 1. Obviously, because we're talking about probability, there's always some subtlety on how exactly these sort of notions are defined, but the intuitive idea is there. And for striped ball, I'm essentially picking some random variable again. Let's call it v, um, again, from uniform 0, 1. And of course, all, all, of these, all of these are independent here. Now, you might be wondering, oh, what does any of this have to do with the integral in question, right? So let's actually now keep some connection. And to do so, what I'm going to do is we're going to condition, we're going to condition on the event that v is equal to x. So here, x is a number between 0 and 1, right? And let's imagine for the moment that uh, wherever this striped ball landed, let's say it landed exactly at x. So fix x for the moment. It can be any, anywhere between 0 and 1, and the striped one landed at x. And now... Now, what, what really is captured by this x to the 12 times 1 minus x to the 20, 25? Well, you can think of it as follows. So we have the interval here of length x, and we have the interval here of length 1 minus x. And for each one of the solid balls, the probability, the probability it's going to land in the first interval is exactly x, right? It's x divided by the entire length of the interval, which is 1. And the probability that a solid ball lands right here to the right, right of the striped ball is 1 minus x. So, uh, so this expression really is very closely tied with uh, the probability that we have 12. So, so let me actually write this down. This is not exactly equal, but we will fix it very soon. So this is roughly the probability, probability that from left to right, so from left to right uh, on 0, 1, we have the following. So we have... 12 solid balls and then we have we have the unique obviously just one one striped ball and the rest of 2025 solid balls to the right of the striped ball 
Now, this equality is not exactly correct here because we are essentially undercounting in some sense uh, to the left hand side. And the reason for this is because there are many different ways of splitting 2037 solid balls into two groups, one group with 12 and another group with 2025. Um, like, for example, it is possible for the first 12 of these U's, so U1 through U12, to be in the left hand side, and the rest of the rest of the U's, the last 20, 25 U's, to be on the right hand side. So that's one possibility. But surely there are many different ways of partitioning um, the numbers from 1 to 2038, such that 12 of them come to the left and 2025 20, come to the right. And the right hand side probability is considering all, all those possibilities, whereas the, the left one, the left one is essentially just focusing on just one one such possibility and then calculating the probability for that. We have once we fix one such arrangement, one such partition, then the probability of that it would be x to 12, so 1 minus x to 20, 25. Uh, but technically, there are many different ways of grouping 20, 37 into two groups of 12 and 20, 25. So we need we need to multiply by an extra factor here. And that factor, of course, is 2037 choose 12. So that's exactly the number of ways of picking 12 things from 2037 things. So that's exactly the number of ways of picking a group of 12 from 2037. Now, I'm being quite imprecise here. I guess, like, uh, I mean, to, to be perfectly correct here, I should write down that we are still conditioning in this probability. So all of this, all of this probability is conditioning on the fact that the striped ball, so this V, is equal to some X. What, what we can now do what we can now do is realize that if I actually drop this conditioning, if I just, if I just drop this conditioning, then this probability is actually very easy to find. Uh, in fact, I mean, just to make this a bit cleaner, let's call this entire event. So, uh, so this entire event, let's call this E. And so here we have probability of E given V equals to X. And my claim, first of all, is probability of E is very easy to find without the conditioning. And uh, the probability of this thing happening is essentially, is essentially we have, how many things do we have here? So we have 12 plus 1 plus 20, 25, and this is 20, 38 balls in total. And uh, we are just randomly arranging them uniformly at random. And uh, we want to see whether the one in the 13th place to the left, so right, so one at the 13th uh, spot is a striped ball. We have 20, 38 balls, only one of which is striped. We randomly arrange it, and we're just trying to see what is the probability that the 13th ball is striped. And that's clearly, that's, uh, because striped ball can be in any of 20, 38 positions uniformly at random. This is exactly 1 over 20, 38. So now we are almost done. And now how we can finish is uh, this probability, um, just if you know conditioning, so we essentially want to multiply by the probability mass that v is equal to x, and then we want to integrate over all possible values of x. That's exactly captured by this expression. You want to integrate from 0 to 1, a probability of this event v equals to x. And then you want to have, let me just write f v of x dx. So this is just the PDF, PDF of v evaluated at x. And uh, the probability density function, where you're picking something uniformly at random from 0 to 1, I mean, that's just going to be 1. All that's happening here is, I mean, maybe you've seen something like a normal curve before, where like the probability of something happening between two different limits is given by like the area underneath. Um, if you're if you have a uniform distribution, if you have a uniform distribution on zero one, then that's exactly given by the function uh, y equals to one, where the area underneath is equal to one here. But anyway, we know this is equal to from from this equality here, twenty thirty seven choose twelve times integral from 0 to 1 of x to 12, 1 minus x to 20, 25 dx. And this was exactly the integral we wanted to find. Uh, so the final answer, the final answer to this warm-up problem, to this warm-up problem, e is equal to 1 over 20, 38 times 1 over 20, 37, choose 12. Having established the warm-up problem, now I want to go to the final boss here, uh, where we have the double integral. And the idea behind this um, is going to be very similar. I actually encourage you, if you want, to like pause the video here and see if you can evaluate this on your own before watching on. How we're going to do it is we're just going to change the argument. So rather than having one striped ball, now let's imagine we have two striped balls. And rather than v, let's say we have v1 and v2, uh, uniformly at random. And these are exactly going to correspond to x and y here, essentially. So now, now the picture, in fact, is we, let's say, we again have the interval from 0 to 1. And what we want to imagine is at x, and maybe here's y, at x we have a striped ball, and at y 
and then y, we have the striped ball. And here, if you look at the length, this length is x, this length is y minus x, and the final length is 1 minus y, right? And we are exactly going to have um, 12, oh, actually, the 2037, oh, of course, also needs to change here. Rather than 2037, let's do 12 plus 25 plus 2025, which is 2062. So let me also change this to 2062. And now the key event we're going to consider is the event where we have um, 12 solids. So again, this is going from left to right on the interval 0 to 1. So we have 12 solids, then we have one stripe, then we have 25 solids, then we have one stripe, and then finally we have 20, 25 solids. So this is the arrangement of balls from left to right, uh, from 0 to 1. And first, let's again take a look at the probability of E. Uh, but now let's condition on V1 equals to X and V2 equals to Y. Now, technically, I do want to make this calculation a little nicer in the sense, in this picture, we are assuming X is less than Y. And even in this integral, if you look closely, the Y is going from X to 1, whereas X is some number between 0 and 1. So even in this integral, we are assuming X is less than Y as well. So just to respect all that, uh, let's, let's keep that in the back of our mind. Eventually, we want to enforce this X is less than Y. I mean, but in, in this sort of formulation, technically, well, what I'm thinking is X and Y can be just any number from 0 to 1, and one doesn't have to be larger than the other. And how we're going to enforce that inequality, uh, I guess let's first think about what is the what is going to be the connection between uh, this probability and the probability and the probability of the event E itself. Well, what again, what we want to do is now we want to integrate from 0 to 1. So here x is going from 0 to 1, and we are always going to have y, we're also going to have y going from 0 to 1. And then we multiply by the joint PDF of V1 and V2 evaluated X and Y. That's again going to be 1. And we have like dy dx. And the trick we are going to use is rather than letting Y go from 0 to 1, let's make it go from X to 1. And since by symmetry, I mean, Y can be larger than X, X can be larger than Y, let's, we can just multiply this by 2 here. Given all this, given that we are integrating uh, on this region where y is larger than x, let's think about what this probability expression is going to turn out to be. So what is this going to turn out to be? Well, well, it's going to be exactly x to the 12th power, y minus x to 25th power, and then finally 1 minus y to the 2025 power, exactly following this illustration. So going back down, and of course, this is true up to the undercounting, right? So here we're undercounting by the number of ways of um, splitting splitting 2062 solid balls into three groups, or partition into 12, 25, and 2025. 20, and a number of ways of doing that, this is now going to be a multinomial coefficient. We want to multiply by 2062 factorial. This is how many ways we can arrange these things in a line. And then the first 12, uh, middle 25, and the final 2025, 20, those can be within, within each one of these subgroups. You can rearrange it however you want. So you want to divide by 12 factorial, 25 factorial, 2025 20, factorial. And to emphasize the key way we are using this, uh, the fact that you're integrating with y larger than x here is that we don't have to worry about taking maximum or minimum of x and y in here. We can just use x and y. Finally, what is just the probability of this event on this side? Well, the probability of that uh, is essentially uh, how many balls do we have in total here? We have the total of 12 plus 1 plus 25 plus 1 plus 2025, or, or sorry, we can just add up these two if you like. That's 2064 balls. And here, out of 2064 balls, we have two stripes. We randomly arrange 2064 balls, and we are essentially looking for a probability that the 13th ball, and what is, what is this position? That's 12 plus 1 plus 25 plus 1. It's 29th position, right? So 13th position and the 29th position just happens to be stripes. So out of 2064, choose two ways of picking where, which positions the stripes are going to occupy. We just care about just one possibility. So this is one divided by 2064, choose two. So now we just have to combine everything to find the double integral of this expression dy dx. And that's exactly going to be. So I copied down the integral in question to the left. And we know this is going to be 1 over 2064, choose 2 times, let's take the reciprocal of this, 12 factorial, 25 factorial, 2025 20, factorial, divided by 2062 factorial, and let's not forget to divide by 2. So there you go. So this Christmas integral evaluates to exactly, exactly this.